Uh, and we love it that he's here. And we've got another big hour to go before we're going to wrap everything up and get myself organized. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Uh, if you never knew this, we're live. It is live TV. And that's part of the excitement of it. I'm almost ready. I'm almost there. Oh, uh, are you ready? Not me. Am I ready? So they're like watching me wander around. They're like, no, 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 Suze, are they ready? It's the top of nine o'clock and here we go. All right. So, <laughs> so you guys are the smartest people on the face of the earth because already 300 of you have snatched up this Hubei necklace. So here we go, we're gonna reveal it, you ready? So we have not shown you the price, we haven't talked about it yet, 300 already sold. Why? Because it is one of the rarest turquoise in the world. It's vintage, Jay's gonna share the coolest story about it. It's one of the most highly collected turquoise you will ever find, check this out. And it's old too. And look at the color, you can always tell a Hubei necklace if you're familiar with turquoise because of this amazing color. But it is indeed the story and the rarity behind Behind it. This is vintage turquoise. It's not mined anymore. And here's what we have. We've already sold 300. Going into this first, and what could be only presentation of it, we're on sale, not 159. And believe me, I have sold his Hubei before at 159 and up, way up. We're at 127.25. Literally, how many do I have left, um, Allison? Okay, I've got 900 left, already 300 were ordered from the preview. Here's your chance to get that famous Hubei before it indeed sold, sells out. And we've got three flex pays to make it a little easier. And by the way, three flex is great because you spread your payments out over three months, uh, but you get it right away. You just pay it off a little bit later on. And we've got that on everything in the show tonight. Also, this is really, really cool. All right, so it's coming up and it's a brand new mine find for this visit. And what I think is so neat about this is you're gonna see what look like floating orbs in this design. These amazing orbs that look like they're kind of floating around in the stone. So this is a brand new mine find that Jay has brought us, something that most of us have never seen, including me. So it's brand new for this visit. Now, we have a really cool, excuse me, coil bracelet. I've got a gorgeous ring. We'll have the matching earrings. And we have this stunning, stunning necklace. It's unique. It's very rare. It's highly unusual. And it's called the Prosperity Stone. Because again, it's green, think money, right? So that made sense to me. I was like, oh, I get that, a prosperity stone, of course. This is coming up if you really do want the highly unusual, very rarefied air when it comes to collecting beautiful gemstones. This might be your choice tonight, and it's truly very, very stunning. It's just really a special piece. So we're gonna see that in just a few minutes. Anything else I'm gonna preview? Oh, I got one more thing. Oh, my Morganite, okay. So, needless to say, you can tell I love doing this show. Here we go. This is at a clearance price, okay, guys? And look at how pretty it is on Victoria. 40% off. Do you know Morganite is the new choice for engagement rings? If you literally go on Pinterest, the coolest thing that gals are wanting nowadays, because they don't want to kind of do the diamond thing, you know, for them, it might be just a little too staid, is they're going for Morganite engagement rings. I think that's, it's the second most popular after Sapphire engagement rings. Um, we have the earrings, we have a stretch bracelet, all of this coming up and morganite is divine because it's very durable which is interesting even though it looks pinky and delicate it's extremely durable and it's great for everyday wear so if you're kind of hard on your jewelry and you want something wildly feminine you don't want to have to spend a fortune doing it this is the most affordable collection of the entire two hours and here's your chance to get it also i love pink because they say it means new love new romance new relationships and i added a brand new year so this would be a fun way to mark 2021 and someone's birthday and kind of share that story with them, especially if it's someone you love. Okay, so start ordering now if you want that. That is our most affordable collection of the entire show. All right, guys, another 100 of the Hubei necklaces that I'm wearing right now have been sold. That means I'm down to about 800. We will keep the countdown going for you. Hopefully it will not sell out before we actually get to the story. But those of you who understand what I'm wearing, I love it because your girls get it. You're on it. You are totally on it right now. Okay, so now we're doing the Ruby collection. Oh, clear over there. <laughs> that was the preview spot, wasn't it? Okay, got it. Okay, get this, guys. So we have sold, this is huge, 
5,200 of the ruby necklaces that you are seeing right now, okay? So here we go. Before they are sold out, we've got an entire collection to show you. It starts with the necklace, then we have the beautiful stretch bracelet. We've got a cross, which is gorgeous, and we've got two different choices in earrings. And here we go. This is what's called a reorder. Now, the one thing we don't do a lot of with Jay is reorders. It just does not happen very often. So I was pretty darn thrilled to see that this came back. And so were so many of you. Not only is it a reorder, you have named it one of your all-time favorite items from Jay. Come on, it's a whole necklace, a whole suite of rubies. That happens to be the July birthstone. So if you're a July baby like me, this is our stone. It is sold out not once, but two times. And we brought it back in for his year end special event. And then we did it at a featured price. The retail on the necklace, which I think is extremely conservative, is $315, $315. Right now, $179.98. And of course we have three flex pays on it. So we got a whole lot to talk about, Jay, but I know this has been one of the customer's all time favorites. Why do you think it's sold out every time it's been on the air so far? Well, you know, um, <clears throat> in the course of my career, I've, I've only done Ruby a few times. Usually it came from India. Uh, one time I got it from Africa and I've never had any depth. I've always been able to do like 100, 200, 300 Ruby necklaces. It's not a big thing that, you know, I, you, you just can't get the rough, the real rough. Most of the Ruby that you're seeing is all treated. They've done something to it. Uh, they do a silica process. There's all kinds of enhancements that they can do to it. You can't get the natural. You, well, you can't get any quality. If you do, the price, I have to tell you, it's all about price, guys. With the quality rough, the rough that's like this, you're just not able to get it. Um, this, um, I have to tell you, we brought it in the first time. It blew out. I mean, just smoked. We had so many people that, that were on wait list. It was just insane. We brought it back again. Boom, sold out. Um, we're... Okay, so that's been months ago. We're, um, we had some of this in works. We had some of it in transit, some of the rough material from Meridas. This comes, that's another thing. This, is a brand, this was a brand new mine find, guys. I mean, we brought this in. Um, we were the first to get it, the first to get it on the market. Um, this is uh, GIA, just so you know, okay, of all the corundums, which corundum is the same as uh, emerald, it's the same as sapphire, right? That's the host family. There's only five colors, five. You can count them on this one hand of mine, five colors of red, shades of red that the GIA certifies as ruby. So it's really hard to actually get it certified as ruby. I have the cert GIA certification on this as ruby. These are brand new. We just brought them in. The necklace, um, is, uh, again, I, it's very rare, like Suzanne would say, that, that we ever do a reorder. Yeah. If, we do a re, if we do another order in Meridas uh, Ruby, usually what we would have done is we would have uh, done another design, we would have done something different, and that, that's how we would have brought it in. Um, if we still have the material to work with. In this case, we had so many people that missed out on this that literally said, look, you know, I really want one of those. Is there any way? Um, so we did put this together. Uh, this is, I, I gotta tell you, it, it, for the event, they released it. Even before, uh, people just saw it online and everything, they bought the majority of it. I mean, there's not a lot of this left, but if you want it, I'm just telling you, this is, this is a, uh, read the reviews, it's a customer pick. It's a great, this is a Ruby, and this comes from Meridas. Now, for people who don't know about Meridas, and know where this is, you know, the, the, the island of Meridas, check it out. It's an island that's um, west of Madagascar. Um, I wanted to go so bad and do a B-roll here, right? I mean, uh, I didn't get to go to the mine as a friend, an associate of ours, a friend. They're the ones that put the deal together. And the one mine that I want to go film, I mean, you know, because <laughs> Marita's like, hey, this, I, I mean, now I'm like, I'm all like up on Marita's. In fact, I was supposed to go fil film it in February. And of course, you know, things happen. So, you know, we, I wasn't able to go. I do plan on going. We were going to go film in Madagascar and then go to Meridas. You know, I don't go, I don't travel the world with a film crew, okay? <laughs> I just, number one, 
uh, it's just the logistics is impossible and also the cost of it is is you know, through the roof okay. so you know very seldom do we take a film crew and we are able to go it's a major undertaking to do it but i was willing to to spend my my hard-earned cash just so that I, that I have an excuse to go to Maritas, right, <laughs> and actually film this. Right. Um, this is really unique, pretty cool. I, th I think, Susan, you know, I, when we first released this, it was either you or Lynn, one of the two, um, that we had a lady call in yes, that was, was born and raised in Maritas. Yes, Remember that? It was she was born. She, it was unbelievable. What? We're like, here's this little obscure place. And this woman <laughs> called it. She was adorable. And she was telling us all about the island and everything. And she knew where it was. And that was the coolest call, wasn't it, Jay? It was really cool. And, you know, and even with her, she, from showing the picture of the mine, but that, what I have here, which I do, I do have the picture of the mine. This is the picture of the mine. Okay. This is the mine. We were showing the, this picture, and she, uh, when she called in, she goes, "I know exactly where that is. That's on the, that's on the uh, southwest corner, and that's in the volcanic and the ash flow and all that." It was really cool. It was and, really but the cool. one thing I thought that was so crazy, and here's the thing with this, okay, the ruby. She goes, "You know, Maritas is not known for its mining." And it's not. This is probably the only thing on the on the whole entire Maritas I, that that they actually mined, that they actually found. And this again, this is a ruby, but it's again, it's it's found in uh, those. What you saw there was volcanic ash, and then so and the, there's little stopes in there, and that that's how they find it. They find it in that volcanic ash. They um, when they they dig that out. And then they take it, they wash it, and then they kind of pan for it like gold. And then I brought some of the natural crystals here, so you can see that we, we're cutting this. Look at the red. Look at the, how red this is. Okay, guys. And I didn't clean this up or anything. I mean, this is this is just the natural material. That's that's what we're getting, and that's what that that's what this is cut from. Isn't that amazing? But oh, if you yeah. want something great that I guarantee you that. That it's number one. It's a ruby necklace. It's it's untreated. It's one of the things that my wife Sheila and I have to tell you. Okay, my wife my wife is a jewelry person. She's a I mean, uh, she's a jewelry connoisseur. My wife was a uh, mine finds by J King customer long before we ever hooked up and we got married. I think the only reason she hooked up is so she could get a discount. That's <laughs> that's the reason I think she hooked up. She's right? scoring some good jewelry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She'll tell you that she did me a favor, right? <laughs> she she tells me that all the time. She says, uh, you know, you know the reason we got married. I I got to tell you is my mother of all people. My mom came to me and she said, you have to marry that woman, and it, you're going to mess around and lose her, and then you'll regret it. So Aww. when your mother says marry a woman then you know that you probably need to you marry, marry her. marry right? Yeah, I think that was a good choice, Jay. I must yeah, say. She, I think it was yeah, an exceptional choice. Hey, wait, <laughs> I want to show you guys, just kind of give you an idea here. I'm going to hold up the stones. And you're talking about, you know, hundreds of carats here. I have a ruby ring. It's my birthstone. So I have a little ruby ring. And I'll tell you, this ring I have, the only rubies I've ever gotten were just teeny specks, like little teeny specks. It's very expensive to buy rubies, right? So imagine if I covered all this up, Look how awesome that would be as a single ruby solitaire. Like that is a really big ruby stone. So please, I hope you can appreciate the value of the price, the rarity, how unusual this is, the preciousness of wearing and owning rubies and getting an entire necklace full of rubies. I mean, that is just you, you, where in the world would you ever find something like this? You couldn't go to any kind of mart or fancy, you know, department store or any kind of fancy jewelry store and say, could you give me an entire necklace of just rubies? And, oh, it's $179. Oh, and by the way, I'm only giving you $59.99 right now, but I promise the next couple months I'll come back and pay it off. That's an impossibility. It's not going to happen. It's Jay. It's his travels. It's connections, his relationships. It's that he doesn't have a bunch of stars promoting his stuff. He comes directly from there to you through us and that's how we do these prices so do not let that price fool you you're like well it can't be good quality ruby oh my god no 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 it's great ruby this is just one of those sensational moments where you can have a masterpiece you can have one of the most precious stones in the world and a whole lot of it now don't forget this is 18 inches you do have your extender and sterling silver on the back you can wear it a lot longer or a lot you know up to the 18 if you want to and you have increments you can change it to when this is sold out again we've had it two other times when it completely sold out. We've already sold, look at that, 5,400 and that 
counter's going pretty darn quick. So here's your chance to be able to get it before it indeed it sells out again. And I'll tell you what, it is indeed rare that Jay can do a what we call a reorder. I would be shocked if he can pull this off again. Jay, if you do, that's well, great. But you're now third time up, and I'd be very surprised if he could do this again. Look, you know, like even when we do a reorder, to be honest with you, um, you'll never see me do it third time. When we do a reorder, it's a one and done. And normally, it's only if we can do it. Normally, a lot of times, they've asked us to do um, to do a reorder because, you know, it sold out so quick and the, and we don't have the material. So uh, it's all by the material. Can, can you get the material? Can you do it? Um, the second time we did it, um, we, like I said, we had some in work in the works so that we were able to do it the second time. I did it the third time. This has been months ago. This has been at least a, a, almost a six month project to bring it back to you here. Now we did this for the December show just because we still had so many people on the wait list from the two events before. I am not, I have never brought anything back a fourth time. In fact, I could count on this hand how many times we brought anything back the third time. It's very That's rare very I true. do it. It's not that I don't love you and I, I don't wanna do it more, but the thing is, come on, you know, um, you, you know, I don't want to overproduce where everybody, you know, has it, right? I mean, that's part of Mind Finds, I think, too, is the uniqueness of knowing that you're one of the few that have that, right? That, and so we we make just so many. Now, does that mean that you'll never see Maritas Ruby from me again? Hopefully not. You know, I'm working on more rough right now, and hopefully down the road we'll have other things, but we'll make other designs. So this necklace, if anything. If you really, once you get this, you'll get a feel for it. You know what you got. You, you understand how valuable this is. And then down the road, as we start adding pieces, you can add pieces and you can layer. You know, you can have a whole pretty. ruby collection. Yeah, that would be gorgeous. This is really, but this is something, I mean, my gosh, if you need to dress up for an event, are you kidding me? I when, mean, okay, but here again, this is, this is, cost you it's not 10 grand right it's not like your your tennis bracelet or something like that but now you never want to wear it because you know you, you spend all that money you're just afraid you, you're paranoid that you're going to lose it yes, that's i mean it. i wouldn't want you to lose this but at least you know what i mean you can take it out you for this kind of money and you can wear it yeah, on an everyday it. basis yeah. if you want well, and you know what's even better you can gift it to someone i mean come on if you know anybody who's got a birthday in july trust me they will love to have a full ruby necklace and they've never probably ever even had one before except for maybe a little teeny ring like i have with just a it's a teeny little ruby it's not it's not even bigger than I don't know, not a size of rice. It's not like half the size of a rice. Um, so this is one of those really great treats for yourself or for someone you love for a birthday. If you love collecting the precious gemstones, remember it's sapphire, ruby, emeralds, and diamonds. Those are the four kind of kings and queens of the gem world. This is one of those. Now I'm gonna show you all the matching pieces and I like Victoria and I had the same idea. I had to wear the cross of this. I thought the cross was just beautiful. There are 300 crosses available, very, very large stones once again, same rubies mined from the same site. The pendant is 132.25, and I've got three flex pays on that, 44.08. It's beautiful. And also notice, too, just that great big bale. Look at all the sterling he's used to create this. And that center stone is amazing, and I love the uh, rectangular cuts around it. I think that turned out just sensational. Now, if you want the bracelet that's in my little hand, it is a stretch bracelet. Again, I have three flex. I like that he broke it up with the sterling silver um, spacers. I think that's nice. It kind of gives it, I think, a more elevated look. Uh, so we have this on three flex pays if you'd like to pick it up. Now I've got two sets of earrings, which is really unusual. This is a cool collection. We've got the uh, button style kind of oval earrings in sterling silver, and we've got the drop earrings, which I think are beautiful. I think they have a little bit of a modern take to them. So here's your drop at 120, only a couple hundred each. And then here is your oval stud earring at $76.50. So that's the entire suite. It is indeed back in stock, but again, I think almost 5,500 have now been ordered. All right, guys, with several okay, hundred already ordered, we're three minutes away from my Hubei. It is a vintage necklace. All the Hubei pieces that we put on the air sell out. 
just sell out, sell out. And we don't do a whole lot of them. <laughs> that's the reason they sell out so quickly. So that's going to be coming up in just a couple of moments. But first, we're going to look at, <gasps> look at this amethyst. I love the way this turned out. I love the fact that the stones are really unique in this. So this is Cape Amethyst. It's a beautiful, beautiful necklace. You can see it's just modified in terms of the design. It kept it a little rough, but gave it a little bit of shaping. And notice too how it does an ombre effect. You start at the top and you have the lightest of stones. And then even in between the stones, they ombre until you get down to the bottom and you get the very rich, rich amethyst color down in that lower big, big stones. Once again, this is 18 inches. We only have less than 300, almost $100 off the appraised value. And we're 40% savings off of our normal price of $95. And by the way, this is 20 inches and you do get the two and three quarter inch extender here on the back. So Jay, um, talk about Cape Amethyst. I, I, I really like this ombre effect that you work with the stones. Yeah, and th that's all the lapidaris that they do. And then when they sort it, they do the bicolor and then the stringers, when they start to string the design, they, they've separated all those in different colors and then they actually do that on purpose. And it's really kind of a skill, it's an art just to do that. Just, you know, you really have to have a uh, good uh, color, a uh, feel for color and, you know, uh, the different shades. Cape Amethyst is kind of unusual in the fact it, it comes from the Cape of South Africa. You've heard the Cape of Good Hope. Well, that's where, you know, that's the, called the Cape and that's where it is mined. It is not mined. These are guys that mine this. It's the craziest thing. This isn't, um, this isn't a 24 seven uh, operation. <laughs> they go in, they mine and they, depending on what they get, then they go on vacation, literally. <laughs> they, go, they sell the material, they go on vacation, and depending on how crazy they get on vacation, you might not see any more for two years, three years, right? You know they ran out of money when they, you start seeing it again, right? Because <laughs> they're back mining. And then they mine, they, I'm telling you, that's the way that's it hilarious. is. They mine, they make a little money, and then, you know, they, they buy a helicopter, they do something. <laughs> I mean, they're gone, they're, you know, they tour, they travel. I mean, that's the way it is. It's like their piggy bank. It's like their at and I, I, You know, I, I, I swear to God, that's how that's it is. Funny. That's a, That's why you do see it there, you know, you'll, it'll be on the market and then we'll see a bunch of it commercially. Like, well, I, I've got my own direct connections, but you know, in, in uh, South Africa, they'll have it. And then, so you know, they're working again. And then it might be years, you know, two, three, four, five years. You never know. It might be one year, and that, that's when you know that they blew their money, right? <laughs> you know, they must have really partied hard, right? Because they had, you know, like if you see it in a year later, you know, man, you want to go and hear that story, right? Because they had some fun. <laughs> and um, so, you know, that's the way it is. It's in what they call it Cape Amethyst. They also, it's known as Chevron Amethyst, although there are several locations you get Chevrons, and that's where you see the white in it, where you've got the white Chevrons, and this is classic. But, okay, let's not even, even that, okay. How $57. stupid is this price? Come on. How, how completely <laughs> stupid <laughs> and again, is I'll that just, price? I gotta give them a it's reference just point. It's nuts. Wait, Jeff, I got, or, or Jay, I gotta show them this. Okay, so if this were a bracelet, just this central stone, how awesome would that sterling silver bracelet be? Like, really great, right? Okay, it's the whole darned thing. And we're talking hundreds and hundreds of carats. It's going to be sold out here in just a second. It's $57. This is the most affordable piece in the whole show when it comes to our sale prices. And again, three flex pays. You get it home for $19. It's great. And if you love Amy, maybe it's the birthstone. Hello. This would be a good time to pick up an amethyst necklace. You'll get it in time for the birthday. This is such a good buy. And it's, I think, just a terrific piece. And it's a statement piece too. All right, Jay, so it is time to talk about what I promoted over and over again because so many of us are big fans of uh, Hubei. Um, I think one of the reasons I enjoy to hear the story from Jay is because it is vintage and it is no longer mine and it hasn't been for years and years. But again, because of the way Jay works and the way he buys and the way he finds things, he's able to secure some of this. Now, let me tell you how many have sold so far. 407 have been sold. That's just from the preview, okay? We have 946 left, so the countdown is on. The normal price was 159.75. 
We have it on sale for the first time. We've never done this. We have it on sale for $127.25. And of course, we include that three flex. You can spread your payments out over three months. So Jay, you know, I've been fascinated with Hubei. And you know what's funny is many years ago, you're the one who introduced me to it. But why do you think this, just any form and any way you bring it to us, it always sells out. It really goes to that vintage story, really. Well, yeah, I mean, you know, here's the thing, you know, I don't know, can we show, can we show this guys? This, cause this tells the story right here. I show my rough, is there a way? Okay. See this right here? That's Hubei. These specimens are from my, my specimens from uh, 1976. Those, those, those are my specimens wow. from 1976. That's so cool. And this, this is kind of what I went around when I was selling it and I was selling the rough and I was selling the finished goods back in the 70s when I when I first was introduced to this material and I was out and about. These are actually the specimens that I had at that time. And they set in my specimen case. This is Hubei. And when we go back to the necklace, okay, you will see um, the same thing in there. There is nobody, here's the, here's the one thing that makes Hubei very special. Well, it's got, it's special in many, many ways. There's not just one way that is special, but I, I will just tell you one key thing. Even if you're not a turquoise expert, if you if you if you in, know anything about turquoise, and you're if, if you if you've collected, if you've bought, if you're if you've been in the turquoise world at all, then you cannot. When you, this is the most recognizable turquoise in anybody's collection. The, you, it's either Hubei or not. You can, there is no way to fake this. There is no other mine that produces this, this co colors of ma material. And colors is the key word here. The, the different webbing, the spider webbing, the different look. This of, of, the, this of the five, five type collectible turquoises in my collection, the five that I have that I prize the most, this is one of them. And um, this was all mined late 70s, early 80s. Uh, this, is, um, this is a, um, this is an, the, as probably a great American story as much as uh, a China story as, as anything you can, you'll ever have. And this really shows you how the kind of the, you know, the world works and how the world worked even back there. In the 70s, uh, China was more or less a closed society. Most people don't know that. I mean, you know, you, everybody now, you're getting stuff from China and everybody just thinks that you, it used to not be love and open borders, guys. Okay, so the first time that they opened it up and they opened this Hubei area up for Westerners to go in, it was miners from New Mexico, Arizona, Utah, Colorado. It was American miners and it was American lapidaris that went in, and there, here's a perfect example right there. You saw Simon there, that's Simon, um, m one of my mentors, okay, that's Simon Chu, he's the one that actually uh, provided you with this material, that that's how I got this material. That's him back in the 70s, and that's with them, with uh, two friends who are still now in the business, they're still around, that were the, some of the first pioneers that went there, showed them how to mine it, showed them how to um, cut, and manufacture and do the work. That's that uh, that photo is back from the 70s. That that's when that's that's actually where they housed everybody. Um, Simon went there four years ago, and behind that door right there, I'm, as a Westerner, I'm not even allowed there, and even people from China aren't allowed there. If you go through this whole area is closed. If you go there, Simon, that, through that door right there, that that was the red door. You can see those red doors. You go back through there. He, he brought me out pictures and showed me pictures of inside that mine. Boy, I tell you what, it is cool as heck. I would love to go in there. That, that's the door that you go through. When well, you go through that door, they've got it all sealed. The only reason that Simon got invited was, okay, so here, here's what's cool. The guy in the red shirt, that's Kelly. That's Simon's brother. Simon right there, that's him uh, now, uh, today. Well, that, that's him four years ago. Um, you can see the, the with the gray hair. Dennis, that's his other brother next to him. And then the far end, that's his nephew. And his nephew is the one that put the deal together with Simon's uncle. And it's the Chu family. They were the original owners of this mine. And it was Simon's uncle. It was his private stash. He had a room. He had a room that nobody knew about. 
that had this premium material in it, not the garbage, the stuff that he had saved back, why he was saving it, I have no idea. Um, but anyway, his nephew actually told his uncle, which is Simon, uh, about, you know, about this stash. Simon put this together. I could not in a million years as a Westerner gone in there and made this happen. But I'm telling you right now, anybody who doesn't have this, okay, just one little thing I want to tell you. This is it. Okay, I have no more material. I, I, I have nothing I'm making in, uh, in, in 2021. It's over, it's done. I can't make anything when I don't have the rough. The pieces you're seeing here are things that we have manufactured. There is nothing new in process right now. Right. I have no well, material. And Jay, just to wrap that up too, the mine's been closed since the 80s. I mean, they even sold the material since back then. This was that special find. You can still get it right now. Stay tuned, we got more coming up. <laughs> the new year is here and it's time to refresh, revive and replenish. Discover new products, programs and special events that inspire you to do, wear and create what you love. It's your time to create the life you love every day with the help of HSN. Worry about one less thing with our Protection Plus plans at HSN. Electronics, fitness equipment, even jewelry can be covered. Shop smarts and protect your purchase. It's easy to add when you're checking out. Search Protection Plus at hsn.com for more details. You can't afford not to be brave. It's not even an option. When life puts a wall in front of you, you break it down. Remove the fear. Remove the uncertainty. Be authentic. They say fortune favors the bold. I've been bold all my life, and I don't plan on stopping anytime soon. Watching HSN, I'm Suzanne Runny, and I hope you're having an awesome evening. Guys, stay on the line for the Hubei. I think we have, what, 600 left maybe? Yep, that's all. And then again, when it's sold out, it would, just to go back to Jay's story very quickly, they found this discovery, they contacted Jay, and so there's this crazy nutty stash we found. Do you want it? Of course, he's like, yes, yes, give it all to me. Uh, but it's not even been produced since the 80s. And so it's not like you can just go into a turquoise store. You can't even go to Santa Fe or Taos, some of the heart of turquoise, and go, hey, can I get a Hubei piece? And if you found one, trust me, it could be in the thousands and thousands of dollars. So I do ask if you can, stay on the line for those last couple hundred that we have available. It really Really will be that treasure in your collection I promise you that all right let's talk spiny oyster this is another great story there's so many cool items in the show tonight this is absolutely brand new and this is for those of you who love color I mean the spiny oyster to me just pops it's an exciting stone it's an exciting look to wear it takes a really dull gray day in the middle of winter and brings some life to it and obviously spring and summer it's a fantastic color even rolling into the fall back to rust and all those great fall tones it just is pretty much a chameleon stone that you can wear all year long. We start off with a necklace. Again, it's 18 inches. You've got the two and three quarter inch sterling silver extender there in the back. And I do have the matching button earrings for this one. Please look at the size of the largest, biggest bead. That is a 20 millimeter bead. It is substantial. And this again is one of Mother Nature's really interesting stories. And of course, Jay joins me as he always does to tell us a bit more about it. This one, Jay, really has a great pop of color. That's the first thing you notice. Yeah, you know, and this is, okay. So this is a uh, spiny oyster. Now it doesn't come like this guys. Okay, so if if it, if I had the, the natural oyster shell right now, if I handled it like that, you would see blood streaming out of my hand. Okay, <laughs> it's like, they call it spiny oyster for a reason. It's like, they should call it porcupine oyster is what they should call it. Um, it has very sharp, barbs it's a it's a, a, a natural oyster they're delicious they're actually and that's what the locals that's how it started back down in the early 70s when i was going to college and we would go down to why mississippi cortez that area um this this is you know um this is the the shells we would find these they come in three colors they come in orange red and then purple very little of its purple. That's the most collectible, the highest, you know, the, the hardest to get. All I've done here is knocked off the spines so you can see this. Let me turn this around. Maybe Luke can focus here. 
Okay, do you see this orange color? Well, that's all natural. And so what you're seeing there in this necklace that we're doing is made from this raw material. And it's a special process that we're using that we've developed that you can do this. But this is only found in the Sia Cortez. Um, when, when I was young and my had hair <laughs> and had lots of it, we used to go down and we would dive and we'd go on these trips and we had this old Volkswagen van and we would go down and we'd live on the beach. You were allowed to do it at that time. We, we would just, um, the only thing we bought was beer. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> and everything else we speared, we dove. We, we only went into town to get more beer and to get, uh, to get our tanks filled, right? right? And the rest of the things we ate. There used to be stacks of this on the beach. And I mean, you could just, it was all for the taking. We used to fill that Volkswagen van up. I mean, you know, like it was ridiculous and the smell of it was incredible. Oh, I bet. And then go home and then we went back up to New Mexico and we cut it in and made it into jewelry. Um, that, that didn't last very long because as soon as we started doing it, the people realized they had a value. So then you went down there, went diving and there was no, no piles anymore, right? right. They figured right. out it was worth something. But they eat the oyster. It wasn't originally harvested for the shell. This is highly protected now. There's only two seasons, um, and you have to be grandfathered in. There's only uh, a dozen families that are allowed to even um, harvest it. Um, and so you have to be grandfathered in. It is highly protected. They don't get a lot of it. And also, it's just gone up, up, up in price. It's really tough to get it. So, And that's why we come up with this process, and we can use it. And so you get this. Isn't that lovely on Victoria? I yeah, love that look. And so here again, good. orange. And orange is one of my favorite colors. I like the purple, too, but i got to tell you, this, especially going into spring, come on. You know, we got that coming up, guys. You know, <laughs> it won't be long. It'll be here. You know, April's right, you know, knocking on our door. It'll be here faster than you think. And this is a great, great spring color. It looks great with what uh, Victoria's wearing right now, though. Yeah, isn't that pretty? Oh, yeah, no, I think this is four seasons for sure. I just pulled a bunch of swatches, and I had everything from green to beiges to yellows to purples to blues. I mean, it just really works. Okay, this is brand new. And again, stay right there. We got you covered on that one. But now we're going to move on to, I have such a host of jewelry near me. Morganite, all right, here we go. Here's something that's really interesting about Morganite. It has taken on this really cool popularity. In fact, because I'm a nerd and I do my research and I just love learning about gemstones and jewelry, um, I discovered that Morganite is now second to sapphire in the non-diamond popularity of engagement rings. So everybody's loving Morganite engagement rings. It's really cool. And if you do a Pinterest look, you'll see it. Uh, they're just, just the hottest thing going. What I really like about Morganite is its characteristics. There's plenty of them. It's this wonderful, mysterious pink, right? It's just really pretty, this gorgeous pinky color. And I'm going to take it off the bust in just a second to really show you that. But here it is, okay? What makes it great, though, is even it looks very feminine and very pink, it's actually a really durable stone. It's hardy. So if you wanted to wear this every single day, you don't really have to take it off because it's got great durability, even though it seems so very feminine and very light. It's not. It's actually a hardy, hardy stone. Now, it's also a wonderful stone, and there's a couple kind of cool things about it. Number one, it's considered the pink of new love, the pink of new romance and of new relationships, and I call it the pink of the new year. So I've added one more new feature to this. I don't think the gem world will do that, but I don't care. I've decided to do it myself. It just means newness, freshness, and I think it represents going into a brand new year, hopefully in a new light and with a good mood and hopefully good things happening to all of us. We have the necklace. It is on sale for the very first time. It's crazy great. It is on sale at 40% off the clearance price cannot be beat. We've never done a lower price. We have the matching earrings and then we also have the matching stretch bracelet to go back to it all on sale while they are available and before it's completely sold out. So Jay, I kind of told my Morganite story. Does it surprise you it's become an alternative to an engagement ring? You know, not really. You know, like, uh, as far as Morgan, I, you know, that's interesting um, that you know that. I mean, that's that's really cool that you do, you know, you do your research. Yeah, it's it's really popular right now. It's even, be, it's uh, overtaken Diamond. I mean, it's like, it's like the hip thing, the new thing that they're doing. Um, Morganite, the reason I always stayed away from it, to be honest with you, I could afford it. I mean, you know, like, I, I've known about it forever. This comes out of Brazil. There are several other places that they find it. Um, there's not a lot of volume on Morganite normally when you get it. It's not something you can buy oodles and boodles of. Um, my biggest thing, the only reason I always stayed away from it 
is because it's not only, you know, to be honest with you, it's, it's when, when I make something, and I've always been this way, I always want to give you something new, unique, different, but I always want to be the best. I want to give you the biggest bang for the buck. Um, and so there are certain things that just don't fit in my biggest bang for the buck um, criteria. When, you know, the, when my old Morganite connections, uh, a necklace like this, you know, you might be looking at uh, 1000 1200 you know, $1,400. And that, that would be me buying directly from that source. Um, this, uh, just like anything, uh, when I can go right to the mining source, when I can work a deal, sometimes they don't want to work the deal. Do you know, sometimes, uh, you know, I see this rough and then we leave it and I might come back like a year later, it's still there and they're willing to talk. They're willing, you know, they need cash and, you know, cash is king. And uh, that's how we were able to do a lot of our deals. We don't get anything fronted to us. There's nothing that's given it to us. <clears throat> if we take it, we, we pay for it right there. And that's what they love. But I've learned also that don't give me a price where you could just give that to anybody, right? right. That's my deal. Right. If you want my cash and you want it now, and I'll do, but, but also with that, I, I did what they call mine select on this. So this isn't junk, it's not garbage. It's, um, you know, but, but I will say this, I, I did that one buy. We've been able to work it now for about two years. Um, I'm not so sure I can repeat on this. I don't know if I could repeat on it or not. Um, I would have to, to it'd be a long, long road to travel. I'd definitely have to have put something together where I can go see four or five or six people in the, in the region, or at least in, you know, within those few countries to be able to do this. But this does come out of South America. Um, it's just a unique deal. Um, I, I, I love the fact, that, Suzanne, that you're so knowledgeable about this and you understand it. Yeah. And I mean, I, it's really becoming one of the really hot, hot things that, that you're seeing um, in, um, you know, very modern and um, a lot of engagement rings that you see right now. A lot of engagement rings are really now they're like the gem grade. They're like the diamond grade uh, 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 material yes. okay, of Morganite. Right. But this here again, this is lower grade as far as it's bead grade, cab, cab grade. But um, but it's still really good natural Morganite. This hasn't been color enhanced. It's not been treated in any way. All we did was cut it and polish it. Right, and, and I just think it's so charming. I think it's fun to have just a really light, airy, you know, a lot of times, you know, you'll wear a necklace and sometimes they're big and they're bold and they're kind of overwhelming. I think this is so feminine. It's so beautiful. If you have anybody who happens to be getting married, and I know a lot of people are like, you know what, we're gonna do it next year. This is it, whether it's gonna be 10 people or 200 people. How gorgeous would this be as an alternative to pearls? I think pearls are lovely and I've sold pearls for years and then when I was younger, I had a fascination with them and I still have some pearls pearls, but I think the woman today, they want, we all want something a little more modern, a little different. And Morganite, trust me, if you have anybody who's getting married and you give them this necklace to wear, it's got that dainty charm, that sweet kind of lovely, you know, just wonderful pinkness to it. But again, very durable. Like if you want to wear this every day, if you're out gardening, it's a very durable stone, which I think is such a juxtaposition to its femininity. Um, I think it's lovely to have something that's not big and bulky and just all over the place. I mean, trust me, I've got a lot of that, but every now and then you just want something that's feminine and light, but you don't want old fashioned. And I really think for today's woman, that's what the Morganite represents, Jay. It's sort of a, a fresh take, doing something that feels a little bit traditional, but it's got that wink, that modern twist, um, at a stone that's not readily available. So I think that this kind of puts it in its own unique category. And then again, guys, look at the price tonight. I mean, it's $69.90 for a complete Morganite. Morganite necklace. We do have the matching earrings. They have a little shepherd's hook and sterling silver, and they're elongated, so very elongating and slimming to the face. I also have the bracelet. This is down to 4111. And please remember, whatever you see clearance prices, that's it. You've got the one shot, and if they're sold out, then this will never be repeated again. And Jay will always tell us, trust me, he will never be able to do the price again on this that you're seeing tonight. Correct, Jay? If I wanted to go bankrupt. <laughs> okay. The out of I, business. You know, yeah, if I, if I really want to go and live live under the bridge, uh, yeah, that's uh, that I would do. You take do the it again. Order. No, that's no, right. you, uh, in fact, I'm not doing it, so I'll just be honest with you. I mean, I don't, and here again, I didn't know this price. This is ludicrous. 
crazy, <laughs> insane. I mean, there, there's no way to make money on that. You, um, we're the manufacturers. I know what it costs to build it. And that is just the absolutely, and that that is them uh, uh, honoring everybody year end uh, a clearance. You know, they've got the last few, the last few. This it, this isn't even anything to be honest with you that I, that I would even be able to take a reorder on. But even if I reorder, I, it has to be the original. It would not be this price. <laughs> so, <laughs> right. and even the original price, to tell you the truth, I don't want you to think I'm price gouging here or anything, guys. I mean, that's what we do. I mean, gosh, you know that that's we run a real neat tight, clean ship, yes, right? That's why yeah. why we're able to actually manufacture, bring it mine to you and be able to do the original prices. I mean, when you see our original prices, that that's that's because we're really good at what we do. And it's a niche, niche business. But this is just beyond ridiculous. In the bracelet, I have three dozen left. So the bracelet is almost completely sold out. In the necklace, how many do I have left? The necklace, probably about a couple hundred. Okay, I have 800 left in the necklace, which you think, oh, you know, that sounds like a ton. It's not when you're in like 80 million households. So if you are going to grab this, really think about that special gift for the grad, the birthday coming up. Um, it might be, oh, somebody just had a baby and you want to give mom the good gift. Again, especially if it's a baby girl, how sweet would it be to give her a Morganite necklace? And every time she looks at it should be like oh that's when little little Sharon was born <laughs> or Tanya was born I think it just has so many cool attributes to it to associate it with a special occasion even like a bride I think this would be a really wonderful modern take instead of giving her pearls to give her the Morganite and it's so affordable too and she'll love it and cherish it for the rest of her life which is great we all want that right all right guys so wrapping up on this are we moving on yes we are We've moved, okay. <laughs> Here we go, I love live TV. Uh, we're gonna talk lapis <laughs> now. Yeah, don't you love it, Jay? Here we go. Now, this is considered an absolute prized stone, a prized stone. And I think it's so interesting, they've even, one of the major manufacturers of paint has named one of their most popular colors lapis because the blue is so remarkable. So here we go once again. We have something that's absolutely brand new. Love the drop. I think, again, that's very fresh. It's a very exciting, artistic take, very gallery-like on the drop that you're seeing there. The pendant can be removed. You get the pendant with the necklace. So you're getting both pieces here. And then, of course, look at these darling earrings. They're just wow. And those are in sterling silver, both brand new tonight. And both we will have three flex pays on each. And, Jay, this really goes back to that really rich, amazing, Amazing lapis color. Isn't it interesting that lapis is so popular and that color is so amazing, even a paint manufacturer decided to recreate that color for a home decor paint. Um, you know, you know, in, you know the, in the thing with lapis, and I just want everybody to know, okay, these are brand new. They were made for the gallery collection. It's, if you look at, it's so far, it's so far different than anything that we've, you've ever seen from me in lapis. This is all triple grade, it's triple grade, triple A grade lapis. It does not get any better than this, guys. When you go in close on this, check it out. Go back, go in, go in close on those beads, go in close on that material. Look at the facet on it. It almost looks like tanzanite, it almost like a gemstone quality. You know what I mean? This is super high grade, super high quality, really neat, unique look. Um, this is, and even for the price, I mean, uh, again, with the lapis and this, you're, I'm pulling out Quality's stock, I, okay, and I'm a hoarder, okay, and I am really, really bad about giving stuff up, okay. This is from our private, private stock that I've, a lot of this I've been saving over 20 years, over 20 years. I'm finally giving it up. I can't get, I can't get the gr good grade. We're, um, next year, you won't see hardly any necklaces. And then maybe in the following year, then there, there won't be anything. I always try to keep enough where I can do like a ring or do a bracelet or something like that. But you can't get this, and you especially can't get this grade like this. It's just not out there in the market. It's just really, you can't buy it because it's just not there. Yeah. So if you want this grade, and this is some, look at them sparkle and gleam. 
When did Lapis Sparkle and Gleam? Good point. Okay. That's true. When? When? Yeah. Okay. This is like the super hard, hard AA grade. Okay. And so here's the story. Unfortunately, we don't have a whole lot of time to be able to spend on it. There are your earrings. There's the necklace. Please remember you get the pendant with it. So the pendant comes with it, which is great. And again, flex all over the place. All right. I got to give you an update on my Hubei necklace. Uh, this was last mined in the 70s and early 80s. Uh, you cannot mine it you can't find it anywhere else i mean you can but it'll be vintage and it'll be extremely expensive and we're down to our final last uh, chance to be able to get this gorgeous hubei necklace with really big beautiful discs that gradually get larger to the front we're down to the final 390 so this is your last call now normally at 159 easily we'll sell out of it you know it just because we're having this year in special we took it down to 127.25 which is insane because it is indeed vintage turquoise that is not mined and is not readily available. It's extremely rare. And it's only a deal four years ago that Jay was able, because of his amazing connections, to get out of China. He bought it all they had and he said, yeah, I'll take it and this is what we have remaining. And when it's gone, it, it truly is gone. So, you know, that's kind of the unfortunate thing about some of these pieces. You just won't see them all that uh, much more. All right, now we're going to go to a whole different world here and this one I think is so cool because you need to look for these orbs there's actually these wonderful like orb shapes in this next piece and it is the kababa kambaba Kababa? Did I say it right, Jay? Kabamba. Kabamba. That's right. Kabamba. Because yeah. there's actually another stone that sounds a lot like that, but that is not right. that one. This is this one. And right. um, you actually launched this as a brand new mine find for us uh, during this visit. Where in the world did you find this? You know, um, we're getting so many things out of this region, this area, but it comes out of Madagascar. And you know, the you know, I know it sounds like, you know, like Mongolia is really hot for us now. South America, Chile is really hot for us. Madagascar, we're on fire. You know, we, Mauritius, which is really close to Madagascar. The reason is, is this area is just so mineral rich. You wouldn't believe what they're finding. And they're finding all kinds of things like this. But the reason that we find this is because they're actually out there prospecting. They're actually out there mining. And you're getting, you know, you're getting unique materials. Now, is there a mine that is specific just to this? No, this is an outcropping. They'll find a small, it's all done by hand. It's what I specialize in though. And we, we always specialize in bringing you things that you're not gonna see uh, anywhere else, right? As far as I know, this, uh, we're the only ones that have this right now. We're the only ones, um, this was a very, very small deposit. We might have it all, I'm not really sure. Um, I can't, I can't, you know, if they sold it to anybody else, I'm not aware of it. Um, we got it rec directly from a friend of ours who um, who knows the miners, okay, who, and she, uh, she lives in Madagascar. Uh, she does a lot of our appetites, well, a lot of our uh, precious stones that she's the one that's hooking us up, um, and she's actually the miner. And then this is our friends of hers who are miners too, and so she put the deal together for me. Um, this is really cool because, Kebab, if you like unusual, if you like different, uh, if you like unique. This is, was a sedimentary rock. So it was formed when this was underwater, under uh, the ocean, right? And there was a sediment and so shells and everything. Over time, it raised up, right? The ice caps were formed. So, you know, the water was pulled. It, um, so the land started to show uh, and it was on, it's on the island of Madagascar. But over time, over heat and pressure, it's metamorphosized. So now it's solid, it's hard, it's not sedimentary anymore. And um, if you look at this and you'll see these little swirls in it, when you get, when you get home, okay, take your, take your magnifying glass, take your eyeglass, right? And check it out, they're fossils. They're, they're actual so fossils, cool. so they're shells. And then this is so hard because it's metamorphosized and it's, I mean, it's hard, hard. It, it's very hard, it takes a beautiful polish. And we even did some fastening on this, you can see. So if you like new, if you like different, if you like to have, if you just like to 
to mess with people when they come up <laughs> and they say, what is, say, that? What is that? And I guarantee say, you, Kambamba. you'll drive them crazy. And then you'll, they're like, where do you come up with this stuff? Where do you get this? <laughs> I mean, this isn't something you walk down to any of your jewelry stores and you find. You just don't find it. Even if you go to Tucson, if you went to the Tucson Gem and Mineral Show, you would not find this. It's not there. It's just not there. I'm telling you, this is this is what I live for, to have those kind mm -hmm. of things that nobody else has got. Oh, gosh, yeah. It's so much fun. All right, so we got a couple different pieces. We have the earrings, which are dropped with the sterling silver uh, shepherd's hook. We have the necklace. Look, again, how bold this bottom piece is. Just gradually gets a little bit smaller, but they're still sizable millimeter. That also comes with your extender on the back. Now, love the coil bracelets. We love these. He does not do them often, but they are the easiest bracelet, and you get a really big look, and you don't have to worry about sizing. So the coil bracelet is also available. And then finally, last but not least, when you see the ring, you're going to see those cool orbs. They're like almost orbs, which is kind of neat. So you see that like kind of fossilized. I'll show you another one too. I saw one on here. Let me see if I can see it. Well, maybe it's in, well, it was probably in the bottom of this on one. The but I want you, yeah, easier, on the necklace, yeah. you could probably see it easier. But they're the coolest shapes. Like, they're really unique. You kind of got to, oh, there it is. There you go. See the little orbs in there? Isn't that so awesome? And again, and those are this, shells. It's so, they're that's, fossils. Look at that. Is that the coolest thing? I love that. And these are um, basically, think of a beautiful, like, deep olive green. Again, if you're into that whole olive green story we've seen so much about. And then there's, like, little flecks of like black in there too so for me this is easily back to all the olive we've talked about in fashion but again take it into the spring wear it with your lighter colors it, it, jay you said it right you know if you just love really exotic unusual stones and you want people to stop you and say look i you're wearing something, I don't know who you are, but please tell me, what is that? How fun will this be to share the story that it comes from Madagascar, and it's so unique. And again, if you just do a quick little search, which I did earlier, because this is a stone I've never heard of, right? I said, well, let me look it up and see what's going on. I literally went online, and there was one stone, not set, not a necklace, a single stone. And it was not very big. It's probably about that big. And they wanted $60 for a single stone. Jay, I'm sure you've seen, it, it's, it's really amazing. It's extremely expensive. So it gave me a renewed appreciation for how much you put into this collection and what a great value you brought to us in it. Well, you know, and when you see things like that, those are people that have gone around that are, you know, that are just buying specimens or they have specimens mm. that they're selling, right? Oh, okay. Um, and, and that's, you know, like, that's what I'm saying, you know, but this material is very, very rare. You just don't find it. And you could go to the whole Tucson Gem and Mineral Show and you probably wouldn't find it at all. But I love, you know, I had somebody um, that I, that contacted it, um, one of our customers and she said, you know what I love about your, your jewelry? And I said, no, what? She goes... I just love driving everybody crazy because they always constantly go, where do you get this? How do you come up with this stuff? Because she always has things. She has a real eye for it. She gets things that are unique and different, you know, that not everybody else has. Well, and I think as jewelry collectors, we want that. You know, we don't want to wear like with all oh, the herringbone. Everybody's wearing that back in the day. We do not want to walk into a room and everybody's wearing the same dumb, dumb jewelry. If you're here watching the show, you want what's different and exciting. All right, we've got one more thing. Now, I think this is interesting. We go from kind of this dark, moody, kind of cool look and now we're going to go happy and really bright and really wowful like it just pops when you see this so this is amazonite and butterscotch amber put together jay great job i love i think this combination is delightful because you have that really bright bright beautiful mysterious kind of blue and then you pop it off with that butterscotch amber sort of to break it up a little bit and again, not only just the materials, but this price, I just saw this price. This is, what, what is it with everybody tonight? I mean, it's just crazy. This is Peruvian blue Amazonite. I will tell you, in 44 years, guys, 44 years of doing this, this is absolutely the finest, even better than tropical Amazonite, better than any Amazonite I've ever seen in my world. It looks like uh, Peruvian blue opal. You can't really tell the difference. It is amazing. That's all natural. Paired it back to butterscotch amber. First time I've ever done this. Really crazy, stupid price on this. Lovely look. And this is something also that I have to tell you, uh, I would do, I would love to be able to get more of this rough. Um, right now, it doesn't look good. Uh, don't, I don't, you know, I've been trying since February. I haven't had any success whatsoever. Um, maybe when I head down there, maybe do a trip, maybe I can hook up or something like that. Even so, it would take a year to, or better to get, you know, get it back in the pipeline. 
but this is something I'm just not gonna have. So if you want this material, this is, I have to tell you, this is the premium, premium, premium uh, Amazonite in the entire world. Uh, I've never seen Amazonite any better quality than this. It, uh, like I said, it is so clean that it looks like Peruvian blue opal. That right, it, it has, it's that clean. I have to say goodbye to you for now. Thank you. I know you'll be on a couple times tomorrow at noon and then later on tomorrow evening. So thanks for joining us. You don't see okay. me till Bye, at mid February. <laughs> but I'm he's out gone of your tomorrow. Hair. Bye, Jay. Thanks, sweetie. Stay on the line for that. Check out his whole collection on hsn.com. And thanks for hanging out with me tonight. Hope you've enjoyed it. Tis the season to be a VIP. Use your HSN card to get the best deals on gifts for everyone. Enjoy extra flex on beauty, fashion, and jewelry gifts all season long. Plus 12-month VIP financing on select items $3.99 and up and at least eight VIP savings events a year. Plus the HSN card has no annual fee. Not a card member? Apply now and instantly get $20 off when you're approved. Visit hsn.com slash hsn card or call 1-800-695-1418 for details. There's only four or five hundred of them left. Start to get a little panicky when items start to sell out. This wow. is it, you guys. I get a little anxious. Gone, sold out. Gone. I better make this phone call. It's usually something that I really want, and I want to make sure to get it. When they say only 12 left, that kind of helps me make my decision. There's no more thinking about it. They're almost sold out. That's it. Final, wow. final look. My fingers don't work fast enough on my phone. Oh, wait, it's gone. Oh, it's sold out Oh, already. my gosh. I have to get it before it sells out. everyone uh, it's not your imagination I am wearing pajamas to work it is wear your pajamas to work day it's wear your Rhonda Shear any and every day so come on in we've got two great hours of Rhonda Shear intimates here to wrap up the day here at HSN so excited to take you shopping we've got some brand new items like this robe isn't this gorgeous it's absolutely fabulous I love the length I love that beautiful a-line design you can wrap it you can